Hi there, Green Thumb Gardener here today. So here I'm going to be talking about how to keep your yard green without using as much water as you normally been using. Now there's a new lawn. Well, it's like a lawn. It's called Carapia. And it's drought tolerant, uh, meaning that it uses about 60% less water than a normal traditional lawn. And it also is uh, high and low pH uh, tolerant so if you have uh, you know been using a lot of rock or uh, you know if your soil is very acid then uh, it could withstand that and uh, if you have a dog you could let a dog run on it too and uh, urinate on it you know which will change the pH and it also uh, tolerates high salt content you know uh, so it also you know, it would withstand a dog peeing on it and not turn yellow. And you could also use it in the shade, which is a great thing too. So it uses 60% less water and uh, the cool thing about it is that it doesn't reseed. It's a sterile plant, so it doesn't move from one place and go to the other. The only way that you could uh, propagate it uh, is vegetatively, so by taking a cutting of it and then rooting that. Uh, there is another type of carapia that is uh, f is not sterile, so it recedes, and that one's considered an invasive weed. But this one only grows uh, it grows one to one to three inches uh, tall. So uh, you just hit it with a weed whacker, or you could mow it even. And I guess these little flowers that the hummingbirds and bees like, and uh, you know, you just have to edge it every once in a while because it, it tends to creep a little bit like Bermuda grass. So uh, if you want to reduce your water bill and you still want a place where you could use as a lawn, you know, uh, have a little soccer game or something like that, you could install this grass. Well, it's not grass, it's called carapia, but uh, it'll help you save water and be more green about what you're doing. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, happy gardening.